Hello everyone. Welcome back to physics. Friction. Friction is a contact force. You know, what did I do in the previous lesson? Force. It is one type of contact force. And in previous session, I explained what is friction and how many types of frictions are there. Let's, today I am going to explain for this. Take one of the book, place it on the table. Okay, what is this? This is a book. And you just kept on the table. Already you got, you had an idea about that net force concept in the first chapter. So, what is meant by net force? When we come to discuss with for this net force, we have to go through the vertical forces and horizontal forces. So, vertical means longitudinal, horizontal means like this. So, let us come to this. The book is now, your seems to be that is uh, in the rest position. So, let us, we can, we have the knowledge for net force now. Okay, for this, now, the book is showing its weight on the table. That means nothing but towards the gravitational force that is indicated by Fg. And we know that whatever the object, it, whether it is in the motion or in the rest, it will exist normal force in the upward direction. So, when these two forces are having the same magnitude, magnitude means quantity, are in the opposite directions, so the forces are mathematically going to be cancelled. So, let's see net force of this Fn, which is if we are taking the positive, then it is balanced by the force which is in the opposite direction. I mean this is plus sign and this is minus sign. So Fn plus of what is the direction? Minus Fg. Then the net force is is equal to Fn plus into minus minus Fg. So, if you are taking the normal force is 10 newtons of force and gravitational force is again the same thing of 10 newtons of force. So, let us, we are applying here normal force, how much we have to apply? 10 newtons and 10 minus gravitational force also 10 newtons. Okay, what I told you to that? If it is both are having the same magnitude but they are applying in the opposite direction. So here plus 10 and minus 10 mathematically going to be cancelled. So the net force becomes 0. So ultimately we can say that the object is in the rest. So vertically both forces are acting on it. But even though the object is in the rest, the book is in rest first. So we are applying our muscular force to push the book. So when we apply, then the book comes to the motion. So when it is in the motion, the net forces are, what are that? The net force is muscular force and Frictional force. We already know, we know that the frictional force is acting on a moving object or a rest object. So let us, here the sign conventions are best to use to determine. So if it is taken that positive muscular force and the friction force. The friction force is in the opposite direction. So let's we are taking as like this. Next, simplifying this, we come, we have, we come to know F M muscular force plus into minus friction 
force. Okay, if it is the same quantity, like same magnitude, then the object is in the rest. But here yeah, the motion, the object is in the motion. So we are applying here suppose 10 newtons of force that is comes to the motion. That means the friction force is not same with the 10 newtons of muscular force. Assuming that 6 newtons. That means muscular force is 10 minus 6. Which one is the higher quantity here? Muscular force. The answer is 4. So the 4 newtons of force is excess in the muscular force. So that is the object is in the pushing direction. The object is in the motion in the pushing direction. So let's come one more situation when we are considering for if the object after, mo after moving somewhat time it comes to rest. How it will be comes to rest? For rest position for rest position you have to think the net force, the horizontal net force. Here we have, we have to horizontal means we have to consider this muscular force and frictional force only. So F plus F R. Okay? But here if the magnitudes are same and acting in the opposite direction, then only the object is comes to rest. That means muscular force if you are taken. What I told that muscular force is 10 newtons and frictional force also 10 newtons. Then we are applying for this muscular force is 10 newtons plus again it is in the opposite direction now. Directions also we have to consider. If it is taken in positive, this will have to take negative. So, plus of minus 10. Same thing we have to apply. That is 10, mathematical application. 10 plus into minus, minus 10. Then both gets cancelled. So, the net force is acting what side? How much? Nothing. That is, what does it mean? Muscular force is equalized by the friction force. Which is shows the friction force here? The floor. Floor is showing the friction force. Then it comes to the rest. Okay, so then next, coming for that, types of friction forces. Only we come to the friction is what? Opposes the motion. But in that also we are finding four types of forces. Already I discussed in the previous session. What is that? Static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction and flat friction. Let's, I am going to explain the static friction to lab activity. Let us do a lab activity to understand friction and the concept of static friction. Aim of this activity is to understand the nature of friction and concept of friction. The materials used in this lab activity are toy trolley, small wooden block, inextensible string, weight hanger, weights, pulley. Procedure Take a small toy trolley and place it on a table. Take the wooden block and place it on the toy trolley. Take an inextensible string and tie it to the trolley and pass it over a pulley as shown. Take a weight hanger and tie it to another end of string. Make sure that the toy trolley will not move. Now take a small weight and place it on weight hanger. Observe the changes that occurs on wooden block and toy trolley. Now keep on increasing the weight on weight hanger. Observe the motion of both wooden block and toy trolley. Observation 
In this activity, we have observed that the trolley with wooden block on it comes into motion towards left with an acceleration. While adding weight on the weight hanger, here the wooden block is in motion with respect to surface of table, but it is at rest with respect to the surface of trolley. We have also observed that the speed of the trolley or trolley's acceleration will increase while increasing the weight on weight hanger at a certain limiting of weight. The block comes into motion in the reverse direction of the toy trolley direction. This implies that there exists relative motion between surface of trolley and the block. We know that friction is a component of contact force parallel to the surface in contact which opposes the relative motion between the two surfaces. In this activity, we learned that there exist two types of frictional forces that is static friction that exists between surface of trolley and wooden block kept on it. The other is the sliding friction between the surface of table and toy trolley. Here the wooden block is at rest relative to the surface of the trolley up to certain limiting acceleration or limiting weight. The friction that exists at this stage is static friction. So when two objects are not moving relative to each other, the force opposes or resists the lateral movement of objects is called static friction. The trolley moves with the respect to the surface of table. The friction that exists here is sliding friction.